continues growing tonight to show support following the murder of Fam Ming Pan. He was gunned down outside of his restaurant near the Central West End. And now new at five tonight, News 4 has gotten some of that surveillance that police are now sifting through from when Pan, better known as Randy, was killed. News 4's Alex Gall is live tonight on Kings Highway near Del Mar. Alex. Sam, Corey, the crime happened behind this business, and we now know it was picked up on those security cameras behind the business. Now, the footage you're about to see came from across the street. Both footage uh, from the behind the building and from across the street is now in the hands of police as this whole community comes together to help get justice for Randy and his family. He was the life of the party. He was just a sweet person. They were uh, trying to live the American dream. Gathering together to honor a boss, a friend, a father, and a son of Chinese immigrants. Charmella Tate worked at St. Louis Kitchen and says Faming Pan, or Randy as he was known by friends, was as kind as he was selfless. If somebody wanted something to eat, he fed them. They picked trash up, he'll feed them. Witnesses say Randy passed away Tuesday after these gunshots hit him and a second person who workers say was one of Randy's cooks. That man, whose name has not been released, remains in the hospital. It was late night. He was getting off him and his brother. And from my understanding, they shot, shot him and robbed him. And he would have gave it up. They didn't, need to, they didn't need to shoot him. Workers say police have surveillance footage from the restaurant itself. But St. Louis police say they have not found a suspect. They also have no descriptions of who did this. News 4 asked police if there have been issues around here with crime. Their records show there have been several calls to St. Louis Kitchen, including a burglary call in March. We have had um, people break into the store, but we was not here, and they took change and stuff, but we have never had nothing like that. The community and family want to learn the reasons behind Randy's murder. St. Louis Asian American Chamber President Omar Malik says it is still part of a troubling trend of violence against the Asian American community. It does, it does beg the question. I mean, we're a vulnerable community in a lot of ways. I think coming to this country, this can happen to anybody, any place, any time. Um, and at the end of the day, we're all part of one human community. Now, police were here again last night to canvas this area, and workers say they are working on donations for Randy Pan's family. Now, the restaurant itself remains closed. We've even seen people coming to this drive-in uh, pickup window to no avail to get food. Now, the restaurant itself, the family and friends are saying they want to make sure that he is remembered for being a, a strong and loving part of this community. We're live here near Del Mar and Kings Highway. Alex Gall, News 4. Certainly a staple in that neighborhood. Really sad for everybody who's visited there. Alex, thank you.